So knowing, they say knowing is half the battle. That's what they say, right? I'm going to show you that God says the same thing. Say your name one more time for me. Tracy, I'm going to show you the same thing that we, we hear all the time in the world. I'm going to show you how biblical that is. Read this. This is the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 2 and verse 3. Talk no more so exceedingly barely. The Bible says to the Israelite women and the Israelite men, right, that we cannot talk exceedingly proudly, right? There's a lot of pride in our community, right? Hence, that's why there's trash in the street, right? That's why we live in dilapidated estate, right? Destroyed minds because we are full of pride. Read. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. The Bible says we cannot let arrogancy come out of our mouths, right? So what does arrogancy look like? Whether you know it or not, arrogancy, a form of arrogancy, maybe a small form of arrogancy, is saying you knowing something and you know it to be good, but you're not doing it. Now, check this out. Let, let, read this. For the Lord is a God of knowledge. So the Bible, right, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our forefathers, right, the God that they served says that the Lord is what? A God of knowledge. So you know knowledge. And the knowledge is what the officer brought out to you about modest apparel. Right? Because right? that's going to help build our community. Right? You want to be known as a pillar, right, in your community. So the Bible lets you know what you can do to be one of those pillars, right? To help guide the younger women. Right? Right? Because there's a lot of prostitution going out uh, going around here. Right? And a lot of that comes from your attire. Read, check this out, read. And by him, actions are weighed. By him, actions are weighed. So, my, my sis, before you go, I just want to let you know that the God that we serve is a God of action. All right? So the Bible lets us know what, what's required of you. So as you're walking away, I want you to know that, okay, if I say that I love God, give me uh, John 14. You know what I'm talking about? Right? If, if I say that I love God, right? And I, I believe you. I believe that you love God. And guess what? All of these men out here, we love God too. Right? But our actions must add up to loving God. I'm going to show you that. Read. John chapter 14 and verse 15. If you love me, if you love me, which I believe you do love God. Right? Read. Keep my commandments. The Bible says, Christ says, if we love God, my sister, we got to keep his commandments. Right? And we understand that uh, keeping the commandments is a perfection thing. Right? So as you go into perfect yourself, you got to be able to examine yourself. Right? In Corinthians, it tells us to examine ourselves. Right? And to uh, come to the knowledge of Christ. And to be actions. Right? Do the actions that, um, that, that. That looks like love, right? So I'm, I'm going to read this scripture. I want to I get this scripture. Examine yourselves. Read. 2 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 5. Yeah. Examine yourselves. That's what we out here to. We out here to help our people to examine themselves, right? Read. Whether ye be in the faith. So the Bible says examine yourselves so you can know that you're in the faith. So that you can know that you can prove to yourself that you do love God according to your actions. Yes. Right? Give me uh, Matthew uh, 4 or 5 about the light. Right? Because our light are supposed to be shining. Right? In season and out of season. Right? Even when it's hot. Your light is supposed to be shining. Even when it's hot, you're still supposed to be in modest apparel. Right? You're still supposed to have that beautiful, uh, modest dress on. Right? Because right? most of our people like to say, or most of our, our, our beautiful sisters like to say, well, it's hot outside, so that gives me the right to dress the way I'm dressing. Right. But the, the, the Bible, the God of this Bible says you must be in season and out of season. You understand? Read. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 16. Let your light so shine before men. So your light is, give me what the light is. This is what your light is. Your light is you keeping the commandments. Your light is you being an older sister, right, in modest apparel. Because those two younger sisters that just walked up, they'll be able to see you. And they say, wow, I never knew I could look so beautiful in modest apparel. You understand? Read. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 6 and verse 23. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light. So the Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our God, says that the commandments is a light. Yes, right? So in order for us to be a light in our community, which I, I believe you want to be, because you want to walk all the way over here. You got a, 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 a brace on your ankle, right? It's probably a little hard for you to walk. But you came all the way over here so you can learn how to increase your light. Right? right? So you can learn how to be a pillar. And with the... What the officer brought out to you was perfect for you. Read, I'll go back to what, we, what you was holding. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 16. Yeah. Let your light so shine before men. So the Bible says, give me, tell me your name one more time. Tracy. So guess what? 
The God of this Bible, Christ, says, Tracy, let your what? Let your light so shine before men. So, Tracy, what's one way that you can shine your light according to what we what we've been teaching you? Wearing a dress. Why? I'm going to show you that. Give me um, uh, uh, Leviticus. Prostitute not thy daughter. Right? Because when we're outside of the dress code of God, I'm going to show you what we're doing. Right? I'm going to show you what we're doing. There is an effect when we break the laws of God. The laws of God says that the laws are spiritual. Right? So when a woman, uh, Tracy, check me out. I want you, Tracy, you listening? When the Bible says a woman shouldn't wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Right? When a, when a woman wants to be a um, she wants to appear to be a man, right? No, 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 not you, not you, not you. I'm saying, but when a woman, right? When a woman wants to uh, act like a man, the first thing she starts to do is what? Dress like a man, right. right? Why? Because there is a spirit in all the laws of God, and the reason why God says a woman shouldn't dress like a man because there's a spirit that comes with dressing like a man, right? right? There's a spirit that comes with men's clothing, right? A woman would be less prone to fight in the street and get all scrappy if they didn't have pants on, right? right? But because they have these, uh, they got the boots on, they got the uh, they got the, the pants on, they're more prone to act like a man. But if they dress like a princess, they had high heels on, they had a modest dress on, right? They would be more prone. I'm not getting into that, sis. I'm not trying to fight you. Why? Because I'm a princess, right? When you get married, and I believe you will get married one day to a righteous man that understands he's an Israelite. When you get married, you're not going to put on a dress. That's not even a question. Why? Because you know that you are a princess deep down inside. But you want to feel special for that one day. But God says you should feel special all the time. That's right. Read that. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 29. All right, Tracy. Hey, Tracy, there's contact information on the back of that flyer. All right, out, was you out here when we did the march? No, I don't live out here. Oh, you don't live out here? No, I was visiting my children. Okay, where you live, Tracy? And Buck, Buck, I heard that. What's the Buck, Buck? Oh, Buck Row Beach. You do live. That's, that's like right up the street. It's like what, 15 minutes away? Sir. Like 15 minutes away, right? So we we be out in Buck Row as well. So anytime you see your brothers, the Israelites, I want you to come out and I want you to continue to learn who you are. All right. There's contact. If, show us the contact information on the back of the fly, right? I want you to call that number so we can continue to instruct you into how to be a princess of the Most High. Right. All right, Tracy. All right, Tracy. Come on. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. So the Bible says, hey, my brother, can I talk to you real quick? My brother, I got, I just got, I just got a question, my brother. Hey, my brother. Hey, my brother. All right, look, I, I want to ask my brother something, right, as he's walking away. Right, because the, the, the God of this Bible, contrary to belief, is a separatist. Right. Right. God is a separatist, right. right? And God separated a people for a particular reason. Right. So we can be the vanguards, so we can be the teachers of our community. Right? right? right. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 32. Bring it out. Deuteronomy chapter 32. Because it's time for us to wake up as a people. Right? right? It's time for us to stop selling drugs. Right? To stop being in gangs. Right? right? To stop prostituting our daughters. Jeez. Right? It's time for us to come to the higher calling that God prophesied prophesied it for us to be. Verse 8. When the most high divided to the nations, the Bible says, the God of this Bible, when the most high divided the nations, we their inheritance when he scattered the sons of Adam. When he did what? He scattered the sons of Adam. When he scattered the sons of Adam. Right? We he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. So guess what? The God of this Bible is a separatist. Right? Give me uh, 2 Ezra 6 and 56. Right? So it's time for us to learn biblical foundations of the Bible. Right? God does not deal with all nations the same. Right? God chose you so-called blacks. Hispanics, Native Americans to be the pillars of the world. That's right. But why are we at the bottom? Proverbs, read that. No, no, no. Give me Proverbs 23 and I think it's 29. Right? Pride is why we are at the bottom. Right? When our brothers and sisters hear the words of God and they don't adhere to it, they are in the midst of pride. Is that what I want? Proverbs 23 and 29? 29 and 23. Try that one. 
Give me that. Proverbs 29 and 23. Right? Because pride is what brings a people low. Pride is what brings a people low. Is that what I want? Yep. Come on. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 29 and verse 23. Oh. A man's pride. Hey, what? A man's pride. So the Bible says, our pride within the black community, we shall bring him low. That's why we are at the bottom. Oh, right? Because we are a prideful people. We do not want to hear the laws of God. Oh. Right? And we don't want to separate ourselves from sin. Right, give me uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Right, we don't want to separate ourselves from the unclean thing. We want to stay with the drugs. We want to stay with prostitution in our nation. Right, but God says a pride is the reason why we're low. So you want to know why we're low as a people? We got to put away the pride. We got to put away the pride. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and uh, like the last two verses. Come on. This is the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 6 and verse 17. Wherefore, come out from among them. So the Bible says, come out from among them. Right. right. More specifically, come out from the lust of the world. Give me 1 John uh, chapter, chapter 2, right? And I think it's verse 15. Jeez. Right. What is, what is God saying come out from? Yes, it is a people, but that people preaches lust. Right. The God of this world, the people of this world, they teach us lust. Right, they give us uh, our drugs. They give us guns. Right, we. This is the book of First John, chapter two and verse fifteen. Love not the world. So the Bible says to be separate from this present world. Why, we? Neither the things that are in the world. What's in the world, my brother? If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So God says the love of the Father is not in our community. is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, his word.